Yeah, so this game is uh, made by uh, Hudson Soft. Um, curious thing about it, um, if you're searching for this, anywhere you want to research it or anything, you don't search by Adventure Island. It is specifically labeled as Hudson's Adventure Island. The sequels do not have the Hudson name on it, so they usually pop up first. Cool fun fact. Let's get started and see how terrible I am at this game. Alright, All right, here we go. Now, one of the fun parts about this game is you go around, you collect the fruits, you have a run button, and since it's an NES game, there are only two buttons. You want that little life ticker at the top there? That is your life. Um, if that runs out, you... I believe die. And here's the cool skateboard part. Ah! I'll get that next time. Trust me, we're gonna play these levels a lot. Told you. Ah, thank you for the subscription, Metal Melissa. I gotta do that next time I'm not on the... Jesus, it skipped me away. Ugh. High level pro skill play here. idea what that secret stage is. I don't think I've ever gotten that secret stage. I might need to try and repeat that at some point. I think it's because I always have the skateboard at that point. He is very slidey. Okay, I have played this game for years and never knew that secret was there. Never knew that was there. So what I think actually happens, Tom, is that I usually get past that point with the skateboard, so I never stand in that spot long enough to have that thing activate.
Nah. Mistimed that jump. See, this is why I wanted Tom to play. <laughs> hey, Jonathan. How you doing? This is just going to be me playing these two levels over and over for an hour. Just to let you guys know that. Which is my... Which is always my experience with this game. My goal this time is to keep the skateboard... <laughs> True. I wish there were saves in this game. Well, I want I'm not going to go to this secret level. So I want to show you is what's actually past this. Normally you're doing all this with the skateboard. And that's your invincibility thing. You can basically run through anything. Totally Jenny says a no. Uh, I would rather try... I want to show you the skateboard stuff a little bit longer, but... I was doing real good there. Yes, that was a swordfish, if you were wondering. I don't know what it's doing here, either. Shit. I got greedy. Got real greedy. Alright, let's, let's try and get through this first level without dying. That's the goal. Time he spits the fish out. <laughs> I 
Like I said, one of my favorite things, I said this on the podcast, was watching the speed run of this and seeing the stuff after this. Like, way after this, it gets really ridiculous. For those of you who don't know, you had to read it in the book um, that came with the game. Um, you're basically going after your wife who has been kidnapped. take our time. Jump too early. Alright, back to the first level, guys. Yep, constantly moving. You can go back and forth, like, slow your momentum. Yeah, you can stop fully like this. But as soon as you want to attack anything, you're hitting the same button you use for run. So, it's it sprints you forward. That's why you gotta time that. I gotta remember how I used to do that. Ah! That's how I was with, um, by the end with Persona. Oh, fucker. I wasn't paying attention. But I got to a point where I was like, uh, this is dragging a little, like, in the middle of that game. Near the middle. And then I just hit one point where I'm like, I'm just not gonna, I'm just gonna play it all day. And broke through that wall and then ended up loving. Um, I think I went for both Personas. I forgot to double jump.
Oh, that's bullshit. I thought I hit him. <sighs> this is one of the rare games that I'm absolutely terrible at that I never get bored of playing. It's one of those weird... Everyone has a weird NES game that they're... That they can play and play and play, no matter how good they are at it. I have this one and Amagon. I, I just broke through a wall about, I think, I think during the whole Futaba stuff in P5 is when I finally was like on that thing where I'm going to play this for like nine hours straight. I haven't put that game down for like three months. There's a trick to that. That's not good. Yeah, I had to kill myself. I mixed the, uh... I missed the axe. That was the trick, <laughs> but I did it. Next level with the skateboard! Woo! We can shut down the stream. Oh, I missed that. I forget what that is.
Oh. The dream is over. I got three tries to get past that part. See if we can see another stage, which will be the furthest. I've only seen the next stage after this in my entire time playing this game. One thing I can say about this game, the music is fantastic in it. You could probably jump over all them. And that was round three. Let's do it again. <laughs> this game is fucking wild. There's a boss fight, I think, at the end of that level. I think what I might do is pull up the, uh... We'll give this... Like a half hour, 35 minutes, and then I might pull up the speed run just so you guys can see the rest of the game, and I can sit back and chat with you guys. It's just because we're going to keep seeing the same three levels over again. Oh, yeah, that's right. You get something special for doing that. Nope. Didn't have enough speed. Yeah, so we'll go one more run after this, and then I'll pull up the speed run. Let me see if I can get to the end with the... With the skateboard.
<laughs> That's pretty good. Ah, got them both. Nice. Swordfish worth 300 points. But I still love the arcade stuff. The arcade trappings that have been in all these early NES games. Ah! There we go. Let's do it. That's bullshit. I hit him with the axe. So that was Hudson's Adventure Island, played by the world's worst platforming gamer, me. So let me uh, switch you guys over to the uh, to the end screen here. And I'll go into studio mode. I'll, I'll try to get good, John.
Yep, so we... Uh, you know what? Let's watch the Taz play. Um... There we go. So, it's a Taz run, so it'll be pretty much perfect. Um, it's the shortest one I could find. If we ever make merch, that should be one of our t-shirts, it's for me. Oh, I'm not talking about how the gameplay is crazy. I'm talking about level design. I ignore the way it's playing. Wait until we get into levels after that cave. That's the main reason we're watching this. And again, going back to the merch, is, um, I watched the, um, ADGQ run, or AGDQ run of this, which is pretty wild, but... Um, yeah, that should be one of our t-shirts, Tom, once we get merch. It's just World's Worst Platformer, and then Jenny have some kind of cartoon drawing of myself. In, like, what, in, like, a circle with, like, my, uh, my head and just a thumbs up. Holy shit. Yeah. Yeah, we've been around long enough with streams and podcasts, Tom, that we should be able to do some good merch for Inside Bits. We'd make an Edgar shirt. So here's the cave. Oof. Now there's floating skulls. Now there's ice. know what that thing is. I've never gotten this far. That's ridiculous. That that run of bats at the end. Now the dark forest. Don't know what that is. A raccoon, maybe? I will stand by the the statement I made that this is some great NES music. Each level is different. Here's your first boss fight. Hey. 
And by the way, that was just area one. I think there's four areas. So we'll let this go. We'll let him get through area two, and then we'll call it the stream. But... Like... <laughs> this game just gets wild. It has all those trappings of a, um... Of an arcade game. Where it just keeps upping... Instead of, like, upping the challenge... It just ups the enemies and... The difficulty of jumps and stuff like that. Yeah, so it does have the NES trappings of... It's basically the same three type of levels. But they just... They change things up in the slightest way in each of them to make them feel different. Including the music. Which is, was one of my favorite things about this game. Is that it makes every level feel different. Even though this uh, the NES at the time didn't have the... the power to have as many pixels and colors and stuff on screen as they allow it to do nowadays. Yeah, so watch the... Tazbot really likes having the, uh, the skateboard. I love how the Tazbot goes for the speed run there, instead of getting points. Yeah, we'll watch the second boss here, and then... <laughs> I think it's the simplicity of this game. And yes, that was an NES controller. There is no way I could get anywhere close to this far on an emulator. Because as terrible as my timing is, regular on a CRT. I love how Tazbot makes those bosses seem ridiculously easy. Let's see if... if Act 3 has anything different. Ah, mouse on screen! Mouse cursor, freaking people out! Oh yeah, it does start somewhere different. You guys are cool watching this. We have a good another four minutes left. Um, before I have to go. I gotta start preparing for, uh, they call this a movie. If you're cool to hang out, I'll chat. Any questions you have? About this game, about... I think one of the things... I don't know if I've ever brought it up on stream. Probably have, or, or on the podcast. But... 
of the emulated, like, downloaded ROM stuff that I, that I got, or my totally legitimate flash drive with totally legitimate NES cartridges on it. Um, NES is my favorite one to just go random in. Because there's, there's so much ridiculous stuff. And the fact that it's only two buttons makes it easy to navigate. Uh, no matter what you pick up. And I think there's like 708 NES titles that were ever created. You know, that old Nintendo seal of quality. I don't know if Jen will love this game or hate this game. Like, I've tried in the past to just randomly, like, play, uh... SNES or Genesis games, and there's just not the the uh, hit ratio that you get from uh, just randomly picking an NES game. Oh yeah, you can uh, crack open the eggs with your hatchet. Yeah, we'll let him finish out this area. And then we'll call it. I am so excited that we're one day away from Integrade. If I have not mentioned that before on any other streams or podcasts. There you go, there's all the socials. If you're talking about a, a Let's Play of, uh... if you want to know, like, a lot of cool details about Remake, um, the Chip and Ironicus uh, playthrough of, of Remake is really uh, informative and, and fun. Like, why are there one-headed monsters? Alright, let's call it there. Yeah, because we're not going to watch for another 20 minutes. So, thank you everyone for coming. Um, this has been Hudson's Adventure Island on Retro Roulette here. One of my favorite games. Um, uh... As I've always said, when I've made top 10 lists and stuff, there's always a top 10 best and top 10 favorite games that I've played. Or movies or anything. Um, this would end up in my top 10 of favorite games that I play. Um, it's not a great game, it's not the best game. But anytime someone says, like, you could hear the excitement in my voice in the podcast when Tom pulled Hudson's Adventure Island. I just love this game. Um... Not any good at it, as I evidenced here, but um, I will always be down for a good 20, 30 minutes of playing through this game at any time and, and not be bored or upset um, with it, which is probably what the NES was made for, essentially. You know, um, when, when it was created, it was, it was still coming from arcades and stuff. 
Um, so, you know, it, uh, it fits perfectly. So, thank you guys for joining me. Quick plug, we have Stranger Damies, our D&D podcast, airs every other Wednesday, um, at twitch.tv, uh, slash gameballpod is where we stream, um, you know, all of our sessions, so just tune in here, you know, you'll get to see everything. Um, we're on Instagram and Twitter at Stranger Damies, um, and, uh, yeah, yeah, we got some great episodes coming up here. Um, and then we have They Call This Movie. It airs every um, every Thursday. You can follow it on Instagram and Twitter at the main Damey. Uh, TheMainDamey.com is where all of our podcasts live. Um, so you can go there and listen to everything and read any writing that has been done on the site. Um, and then we stream on here about five nights a week. Or five days a week, I should say. Um, we have uh, Warzone Wednesday. Or, I'm sorry, Jesus. I've been sick. Um, we have Apex After Dark on Wednesdays. Uh, Paper Marchio will resume on Thursday, now that I am healthy. Friday is, uh, you know, either an off day or uh, we're streaming um, uh, uh, D&D. Um, Saturday afternoons might turn into my uh, Mass Effect streams, so be sure to check that out. They'll probably be like noon to four on Saturdays um, if I don't have anything else going on. I tend to have things going on on Saturday afternoon. I may make that either a 4 to 8 or like a morning stream. Um, I just want to play through it and uh, I would love if you guys joined me. But it just gives me an excuse to play that game. Um, Sundays is uh, Dan of the Wild where Dan is playing through Breath of the Wild. So be sure to check that out. And then we'll be back on Mondays um, when this usually airs for our, our retro games. Either Retro Roulette or uh, Tom's playthrough of Suikoden. So... Um, yeah, yeah, that's what we do here. Um, we have our podcast, which is where this this uh, Twitch channel came from. Uh, the Game Vault Podcast. You can find that wherever you listen to podcasts. Um, we're on all socials at Game Vault Pod. Um, we are every other Monday, so we just had an episode yesterday. Um, be sure to check it out. We uh, previewed E3 and um, special stuff. Uh, probably more for the Twitch audience than the YouTube audience. Um, we're going to be streaming um, the press conferences on Saturday and Sunday. Um, it'll be myself and Tom and Jen, whichever one can join me at any time, maybe both. Um, but it'll definitely be your boy here, um, going through, uh, everything going on on Saturday, um, and Sunday. Uh, so be on the lookout for that. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. Um, we're going to be doing YouTube for the YouTube audience, um, our Nintendo reactions. We're going to go straight to YouTube because it'll be easier to just record a video with me and Tom um, on Tuesday before I do They Call This a Movie um, because it's about 40 minutes and we can like do our recap of our thoughts um, on the whole show and have about an hour long video on YouTube there. So be sure to check that out. Um, you know, uh, subscribe to us over there so that we can get uh, to the vanity uh, URL and uh, not just have to tell you to click the link. Um, so yeah. Thank you for joining me again. I will be back uh, maybe tomorrow. I have to discuss that with Jen and, and Tom. Um, and then, But I will definitely see you on Thursday. All right. Thanks. Bye.